sentenced to two decades in prison tonight for the murder of his girlfriend. Yeah, Anthony Buner received a 63-year sentence for the murder of Janet Cook. This was back in 2015. The Cook family now saying they have a little closure in the case. 24-Hour News 8's Eric Feldman spoke with them about today's emotions, Eric. Yeah, Brooke, well, with Anthony Buner now sentenced to more than 60 years behind bars, the family of Janet Cook says that they can finally start to grieve. They haven't been able to do that, they said, for the past two and a half years. Cook was shot and killed on her front porch where she was found by a granddaughter, in fact. And the family says that they're hopeful that Cook's story can serve as a reminder and a warning to anyone who could be suffering from domestic violence abuse. You were my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. A tattoo with a message. Very hard. That still stings today. What? <laughs> he did it. On October 2nd, 2015, Janet Cook was found shot and killed on her front porch. The hardest thing I've ever had to go through. It only took days for police to arrest Cook's boyfriend, Anthony Buner, for her murder. But the wait for their closure was tough. Depression. Anxiety. For two and a half years, they went to every court hearing, trial date, and the sentencing, filling the courtroom wearing these shirts. It just showed me, you know, that my mom had people there. She was really loved. 63 years is the punishment sentence for Buner. We did it. We got justice for my mom. I'm sorry. But that closure cannot fill the hole left by Janet. The fact that I've had to graduate without her, go to prom without her. In court, Janice's niece read a letter to her aunt. You were the funniest person ever. Janet's daughter read one to the man who took her mother. She was my best friend, my right hand, my lifeline, my go-to for any and everything. Janet's 10-year-old granddaughter who found Janet's body covered in blood still dealing with the effects of that day. She is in therapy, has been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and PTSD. The story does not end here. The Cooks hope Janet's tragic story serves as a message for anyone struggling with domestic violence to speak up and a lingering question for the family, why? Why he felt it was so bad that he had to take her away from us forever. And Jessica, Janet's daughter, who you just heard from, she says she even wants to visit Anthony in prison to try to get that answer of why. And get this, she also says she wants to get her GED to eventually join IMPD. She says she's been motivated to try and make a difference after this tragedy. I'm live downtown, Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8. All right, Eric, thank you. In Vigo County, Ontario,